Hey folks, Tim Morgan here. Today we're gonna to cover how to fly a high performance takeoff in the FlightFX SF-50 Vision Jet, like we learned to do in the type rating course. You use the high performance takeoff for situations where climb gradient is critical, such as when flying departure procedures with steep climb requirements or when departing out of mountainous airports. And that's exactly the situation we have here today. I'm at Aspen Airport, parked at the departure end of runway 33 in the heart of the Colorado Rockies. Today we're going to fly the Lens 9 departure. I have another YouTube video where I fly this departure in the Vision Jet in real life, so check the description if you want to see it done in the real world, in much better weather than what I'm simulating here too. As you can see on the chart for the Lens 9, we need to be able to maintain a climb gradient of 465 feet per nautical mile until we reach 10,000 feet. To know if we can do that, we crack open the AFM and we go to the gear up flaps 50% climb tables. These tables give us our climb gradient for a maximum performance climb at the VX speed of 91 knots. Taking the nearest numbers, you can see that we'll have no trouble making the numbers on the plate. A high performance takeoff is straightforward in the vision jet. We rotate normally at 90 knots, then immediately start pitching up to capture VX 91 knots. We bring up the gear with positive rate and we keep the thrust all the way forward in the takeoff position and climb at 91 knots. Once we've cleared our obstacle, we pitch the nose forward and reduce thrust to MCT. As the speed comes up through 115 knots, we bring up the flaps and resume a normal climb at 165 knots. The Vision Jet has a five minute limitation on takeoff thrust. Because of this, we're gonna set a five minute countdown timer on GTC-1, which will start before takeoff. We need to reduce thrust to MCT before this timer expires. We'll also make sure that the VR, VX, and VY bugs are shown. These are always on by default in the real jet, but you need to turn them on in the sim. Now, in real life, I would activate toga, arm navigation, and flight level change modes, and then activate the autopilot and auto throttle after takeoff. But here, I've noticed two simisms that will make this departure different. First, the auto throttle can't hold VX accurately. And secondly, the departure is coded completely incorrectly in the sim. Because of these two things, we're gonna have to hand fly the departure using raw data. So let's set the heading bug to the first heading, 343, and then the altitude bug to the top altitude for the departure, 16,000 feet. Let's also set the speed bug to VX. Finally, let's tune the nav radio to the outbound localizer and set the navigation mode to loc1. And as always, we will do a departure briefing before we go. This will be a high performance takeoff from runway 33. From brake release to rotation, we'll abandon the takeoff for any malfunction, coming to a complete stop on the runway where we will make a decision as to our further action. Because of the terrain and low ceilings, for an engine failure, we'll turn down the valley and then pull caps immediately. For a fire, we will continue the departure to a safe altitude, then fly the localizer approach back to the airport. Above 10,000 feet, we can run the appropriate memory items and checklists. We're gonna be flying the Lens 9 departure, hand flown and raw data. We'll climb to 400 feet AGL, then we'll turn right to heading 343. We'll maintain heading 343 until reaching 9100 feet, then turn left to heading 273. We'll hold heading 273 to intercept the localizer outbound. Once we've done that, we can switch back to GPS navigation. We'll climb at VX until reaching 10,000 feet, and then we'll accelerate to 165 knots and bring the flaps up for our normal climb. We'll bring the thrust back to MCT upon reaching 10,000 or when the time timer expires. The threats for the departure today are obvious. We've got mountainous terrain in the vicinity, as well as low visibility and significant icing conditions. We'll have the engine anti-ice on before takeoff, and we'll turn on the wing stab anti-ice as necessary after takeoff. In real life, I'd also have the terrain view up to monitor my clearance. You can see on the departure plate why that climb gradient is so critical. The first leg is a simple heading leg that doesn't terminate until you reach 9100 feet. If you take too long to get to 9100 feet, you will fly right into this mountain here. The Vision Jet, both in the sim and in real life, does not protect you from this. It's your responsibility to make sure that you can meet the required climb gradient. Otherwise, the jet will happily hold that heading right into the mountain. All right, with the departure brief completed, flap set to 50, anti-ice on, and the MFD configured, we are ready to fly. Take off to the T, 
engine instruments. Airspeed alive. up and hold VX. Positive rate, gear up. At 400 feet AGL, we turn right to heading 343 keeping the speed at 91 knots. At 9100 feet, we start the left turn now to heading 273. Speed still at 91 knots, flap still at 50. Thousand feet now, the nose comes forward and we reduce thrust to MCT. We're targeting 165 knots for the climb. Passing 115 knots, flaps up. As the needle comes in, we turn to intercept the outbound localizer. And that's basically it. Once we're on course to Linz, we can switch over to GPS navigation and turn on the autopilot and auto throttle and all those other goodies. So as you can see, a high performance takeoff in the Vision Jet isn't so difficult. Just keep the throttle in TO, the flaps at 50, and the speed at VX until you're clear of obstacles, then pitch down and accelerate to your normal climb speed, bringing the flaps up as you come through 115 knots. Don't forget to come back to MCT before that five minute timer is expired. The real challenge in flying those high performance takeoffs is hitting the books and knowing what takeoffs are and are not possible with your vision jet. With the numbers on your side, you can fly your aircraft to its limits and you'll know that you'll be safe. Thanks for watching everyone. As the Flight FX vision jet expands in capability, I'll be sure to put out more tutorial videos. See you in the next one.